But in its simplest form, you can think about ambisonics audio as a way to encode spatial audio such that it can be easily processed by a computer. And by easily processed, I mean, for example, that once you have the spatial audio converted into ambisonics, rotations of the sound field are very, very simple and very, very effective and very, very accurate. Now, the most important thing to understand here is that ambisonics comes in different orders. And these orders sort of describe the resolution with which the spatial audio is encoded. The higher the order, the higher the resolution. It's similar to an image. The higher, essentially, the resolution that you have, the more accurate the image will be. And here's the same thing. The higher the order of the ambisonics audio, the higher the resolution of that spatial audio representation.